the old number, the new number, the new numbers as they become available to, and uh, as measurement improves, what do we do with that? Yeah, no, and to be honest, the the numbers I see show that 80 to 90% of the methane is basically avoidable, right? If you follow best practices at a reasonable cost, right? 75 is a little bit of a compromise, but it's a compromise that indicates if you're if in good faith, you do your bet, you know, reasonable leak detection and repair all along your lines using drones, using using staff, using aircraft, what have you. Um, if you have a super emitter event, you report it. Uh, you you only you tie back all your new wells. You collect all the gas and all the liquids. And if you have to flare for whatever reason, you use a cyclone or some other complete com combustion technology. You should arrive at somewhere around minus seventy five from er late twenty early twenty tens level emissions. Like that for a re for most normal. Now it's going to be a little harder in Saskatchewan because they got to do all tiebacks. There's actually extra capital involved. It's it's actually a much harder job to do in Saskatchewan than it does in Alberta, especially in BC, because of, you know there's only so much oil a gas that comes up and it's at relatively low pressures. But this is this is where you know investment tax credits might help you.